Tell me when everyone's ready. Ready. All right. Well, good morning. Um, obviously, you guys were all in attendance yesterday. You saw that Sonny came out of the game. Uh, we have had some encouraging news that it's a it's a mild strain. Uh, I'm not going to put any return to play yet on it. Um, obviously, it's less than 24 hours, so we're just going to see how he responds over the next few days. But um, from the MRI reading, we are definitely encouraged. So, you know, fingers crossed. This isn't going to be something that that lingers too long. Is this uh, something that happened in, in, during the game? Like an yeah, he felt it on that pitch, and uh, you know, I, I don't know if you were there or not, but like I felt like. Watching it at first, I was like, it might have been a cramp, but then when the manager came out and Dusty came out, you could see that he was reaching down at his hamstring. This is the same hamstring he had issues with a couple of years ago. Do you, you know, anything, yep. Can you learn anything from that, how you recovered from that, or the severity of it? Uh, less than what he experienced pr prior. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, a, a, a perfect day is when no one gets hurt and, you know, you come out and get your work in. So, you know, it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, certainly could have been worse. So how relieved are you guys that it's it's this great? It's, it's not something that maybe will knock him out a long time. Well, I mean, look, again, like we talk about spring training and the importance of what we're doing here. And, you know, our fingers are always crossed that this is that you don't have injuries. But this is something that's going to slow him down. But we don't think it's going to be something that's going to uh, go deep into the season by any means. He's been named your opening day starter. I know you have no timetable, but are you still hopeful that he will be your opening day starter? I, I would imagine that's in question, but um, obviously we're going to give it some time. How much leeway is built in to his schedule? Like, I mean, you have to hit your marks as a starter to I, be ready. Yeah, it would be probably challenging, I think, at this point. But um, again, I think we just got to give it a little air, a little space, and then we'll understand more in the next few days. Do you have to, you're going to have to prepare someone in parallel? I would imagine. And who yes. is that? Is that the two lefties Haven't contending? Haven't spoken to Ollie about what that looks like yet. Um, obviously, we just got this news late last night, digesting, and um, at some point we'll have to make that decision. Is additional depth seem to you guys are exploring, or you guys feel like that's premature at this point? I definitely feel it's uh, uh, not something that's required at this point. Um, you know, obviously, if something changes, then that has, we'd have to look at it differently, but not thinking we're going to have to do that at this point. So have you guys thought about a plan yet that he'll be down this many days and then start rehab this, uh, you know, heavy not or yet. something like no, that? Not yet. Not concrete. He's definitely going to miss his next spring start, though. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's clearly so important to the team. What's your emotions when all that's going on yesterday? You know, I've experienced a, a lot of key pitchers uh, going down in spring training over my career, and it's uh, always frustrating because, you know, a lot of your off-season planning is about what you want to look like for a 162, and, and, you know, now you're going to have to deviate from that plan a little bit. So it's a bummer, but, again, it could have been much worse. So I think from that standpoint, you, you kind of approach today with a little bit more optimism than you think maybe you would have if it was uh, more dramatic. Well, what, have, what have you learned about uh, just kind of the like upper minors pitching depth since you've seen them in camp so far and their readiness to contribute if needed? Yeah, I think you got to remind yourself some of these guys are still pretty young, um, but I feel overall like you know just thinking about two guys that were in last year's camp when you look at like McGreevy and Graceffo, I think they've made like really positive strides in, in where they are this year versus where they were last year. So I think that that learning curve or, or ability to, to sort of experience camp last year was very valuable for where they are today. And so I think our overall depth at, at Memphis is going to be something that we're going to be able to utilize and have confidence in throughout the course of the 2024 season. Any updates on Tommy Evan at this point? Um, still progressing. You know, right now I, he isn't to the point where we've tested everything to, to know for sure, but there's still a lot of optimism on his side that he'll be ready to go. Taking Flight, Card Spring Training, sponsored by Woods Basement Systems.